Welcome to the videos accompanying my new book, Playing the Saxophone, published by AstuteMusic.com. This video accompanies the chapter on jazz, inflections and articulation. I wanted to post this video to accompany the information in the book to outline the changes that one needs to make as a classical player beginning to explore jazz music and jazz phrasing and articulation. There are many books and studies out there for you to get involved in but I wanted to look at the technical and physical changes that you need and should make in order for these articulations and phrasings to become a reality in your playing. If I play a basic G major scale as outlined in my book on my classical mouthpiece and change that to swing quavers it's beginning to sound a little jazzy but doesn't really have the phrasing and articulation that we come to associate with jazz. If I think about how I would sing that, I would inherently add the dooby 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 doo, bap, do, da phonetic to my phrasing to bring it to life. If I superimpose that, onto the mouthpiece here and allow myself to move my jaw and to phrase um, vocally inside my mouth and superimpose that into the saxophone, this is what happens. Again, much closer to what we're looking for. However, the final stage of the puzzle is for us to be encouraged to move away from our classical mouthpiece which is designed to provide a very even tonal response across the range of the instrument to a jazz setup, which is designed to amplify differences and variety in the sound and much more suited to the articulation that we're looking at. Remember, we're moving our jaw around a lot now. In fact, if you place your hand on your face like this and say, do be do be do be do da, do ba do ba do ba, you can feel how much your jaw is moving around. Let's apply that now on a jazz mouthpiece, which has a wider tip opening and therefore exaggerates and amplifies these small changes that I'm making. So there's much more variety and much more coloration to the sound being amplified by a jazz setup. There are hundreds of mouthpieces out there. Go and explore them, listen to people you like, find out what they're playing on. But you must understand the physical changes that have to happen if we're going to explore both of these types of music. For classical playing, keep your jaw still. You want an even sound across the range of the instrument as a starting point. For jazz playing, find a mouthpiece that amplifies the jaw movements that you should be making in order for your jazz articulation to really speak through the saxophone to the listener. Thanks for watching.